Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Do I have a good one for you guys today? We are going to be testing out a new eyeshadow palette that I was so excited to see released. It is the Alter Ego Luster Palette. I got an email a couple weeks ago from them saying that they were going to send this palette to me. I was so excited about it. It did take a little while to get here, so chances are you guys may have seen some other people do videos on this palette, but I am so excited to share it with you guys today. I will confess, I already opened the box. I swatched it on my fingers a little bit on Saturday. And then yesterday on Sunday, I played with it on my eyes and I've got to say you guys, I was pretty pretty impressed so far. So we're going to go into it today. We're going to do some swatches. We will be doing an eye look, of course, and I'll share with you guys all the information on this palette and wait till you guys see the packaging on this one. You might know I love Alter Ego's packaging, but they have outdone themselves on the packaging of this palette. I am very excited to get into it. Before we do, I want to welcome any new visitors to my channel. Welcome. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please do me a big favor and give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed. And with all that out of the way, let's get into the palette. All right, you guys. So I do already have my, most of my face makeup on. I haven't put blush on yet because I wanted to wait and see what eye look we end up creating but let's just go over what I have on really quickly I have my Misha BB cream on as my foundation I have the Tarte ultra creamy concealer right here I also have my physicians formula butter bronzer on and then for highlight I have the ColourPop flexitarian highlighter on in my brows today I have the elf shape and stay brow wax the Ulta 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 Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. Man, that is a tongue twister every time. And then the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. And also, I did already apply my eyeshadow primer, the Lorac Eyeshadow Primer. So, let's now take a look at the palette. So, here it is right here. I put it back in the box. You guys, look at this beautiful, beautiful packaging. I just think this is so so stunning. I love it. It matches my shirt. I did that on purpose. You know I can't resist. And here is a look at the inside. So I will insert for you guys a close-up here of the outside packaging and also the shadows inside. This is so, so, so pretty. Now I know that this is meant to dupe the Pat McGrath, I think the Divine Rose palette. I will let you guys know right now, I have never actually tried out Pat McGrath's eyeshadows. They are one of those brands that I would love to try out their eyeshadows. I just can't seem to stomach the $129 price tag. So keep that in mind as I talk about and use this palette today, I won't actually be able to compare it to the original. I know that Jen Phelps did do a comparison on this palette compared to the Pat McGrath, so I will link that video for you guys down below if you're interested in the actual comparison. But I will insert for you guys some swatches of this palette right here. So many beautiful shades inside here. Now I've dipped into a couple of them. I put a few of them on my eyes. I haven't used all of them on my eyes, but the four or five shades that I have used, I have been extremely impressed with. I am super excited to do a look with this palette with you guys today. I love that there's a variety of shimmer formulas inside here. You get some, some satin shimmers, some more foiled shimmers, and then you get this beautiful glitter topper right here, which is such a beautiful lid topper shade. I have found that a lot of brands attempt to do lid topper glitters that just don't quite get there. This one I feel like is one of the best that I've tried. And certainly a formula that I think is unique to the other palettes that I've tried out from Alter Ego, or maybe at least the most successful one that I think they've done thus far. It is really, really stunning. We'll definitely try and work this shade into the look that I do for you guys today. Just look at that reflect. Oh my goodness. I played with this palette yesterday. I used some of these kind of more taupey purples. They are so, so pretty. I think we might dip into those again today. I haven't yet tried out this peach kind of gold shade, but it looks absolutely stunning. And I love the variety you get inside here. I love the purple tones, but I also love the warm tones inside here. It seems like a very good, slightly colorful palette for the neutral lover. I would imagine a lot of different skin tones, different preferences could get some good use out of this color story. So let's go ahead and jump into the eye look. So I am going to be using my Alter Ego brushes today. These came in their more recent set. I'll link it for you guys down below. I did feature this set in a favorites video a month or two ago. I really do like it. I think if you're looking for good affordable brushes that really get the job done. These are a really good option. And that does remind you, I do have a 10% off code. I will link that down below if you guys are interested in this palette or the brushes or something else from Alter Ego. You can get 10% off using my code if you would like to use it. Let me actually zoom you guys in just a little bit and we will get going on the eyes. Okay, I will try my best to stay in focus. So we're going to get started with this absolutely beautiful shade right here. I did use this one yesterday. It's the shade Mystic. Really beautiful muted rosy purple. And I'm just going to apply that all up through my transition area and kind of all over the outer half of my lid. I'm really going to build this shade up. I love the undertone of this shade. It's cool tone, but it has this subtle pink undertone to it. It's a perfect, perfect, subtle kind of pink purple. So that was about two dips into the shadow on this side. I like to build these up kind of slowly. I didn't actually watch Jen's video because I knew the palette was coming was coming to me and I didn't want to know what other people thought of this palette before I reviewed it myself. 
Isn't that just so, so lovely? So now I'm gonna take this smudge brush right here. This is the Alter Ego number nine. By the way, the one I just used, I don't know if I told you, is the Alter Ego number five. It's the largest blending brush that comes in that set. And I'm gonna dip into that same shade and just run that under this lower lash line right here. I'm loving that it matches my shirt perfectly. So I can't decide. There's a part of me that wants to try using this color right here. It's a little more of a satin finish. This beautiful kind of warm, rosy. It's almost slightly bronzy at the same time. It's so, so pretty. But I used this shade the other day. This one down here is the shade Magnifique. Magnifique? Magnifique? I don't quite know how to say that properly. But this is a beautiful kind of taupe shade that is also so pretty. Oh, man. Decisions, decisions. I loved how this shade looked on my eyes, but I'm kind of wanting to try something different. Now I'm gonna go with this one. I've gotta show you guys, sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off. I wanna show you guys this shade. It is so, so pretty. I just think it needs to be shown off today. So we're gonna use that one. Again, that's the shade Magnific. I'm gonna say Magnific right there. And I'm just gonna apply that with my finger to the outer kind of two thirds of my lid. This is a really great shade because it's, a solid mid-tone. It's not too dark to where if I go a little bit more in, it closes off my eyes too much. It just has a really good tone to it. Okay, I'm going to go back into that smudge brush and I'm just going to kind of feather this through this outer corner. All right, and now I want to do the lid topper glitter right here. This is the shade sacred it is so beautiful so creamy kind of reminds me of a pressed glitter but the glitter particles are very very small it's so lovely i mean just look at this isn't that just beautiful perfect shade it's just a solid champagne which i just feel like you can't go wrong with goes with anything would look good on any skin tone goes on very evenly mm, just very very nice all around all right let's add a little bit of depth to the outer corner and for that I'm going to take the alter ego number six brush just a slightly smaller blending brush I want to dip into this warm deep brown right here this is a very red based brown but it's really pretty just for adding a touch of warmth to the eye and it really does a good job of deepening things up so I'm just going to apply this very carefully to this outermost corner closest to the lower lash line and then I'm going to kind of pull a little bit of that under this outer corner right here on the lower lash line. But hopefully you guys can see just the subtle depth that that's giving me there. Isn't that pretty? So it's actually supposed to upload today when I'm filming this. We'll see if this video actually ends up going today but I was I did have another upload scheduled for today that was supposed to be a kind of get ready with me featuring some items in my shop my stash but I went to edit that video yesterday and realized I was missing a clip I don't know what happened to it I've been having trouble with that lately I don't know if it's my memory card if it's my camera or if it's just careless user error from me while I am filming but man that's frustrating so I'm gonna try and film this video and edit it and get it uploaded in the same day we'll see if we can make that happen oh just think that is so so pretty love it so there's just a little bit of fallout with that glitter shade probably would be wise to either do your eyes first or to hold something under your lashes while you do the glitter application probably also when I'm doing my liner application or mascara but I think that's about it I'm gonna just do a little I'm just taking this there's not really anything on here I'm just running it along this edge just to shape things out a little bit make sure everything's nice and blended that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some gel liner. I'm gonna take this gel liner from BH Cosmetics. This is just a black liner from them. It's pretty new to me. It is very nice and creamy. This one I've used a few times so far. I've been pretty impressed with it. I think it holds up pretty well. I feel like it's not quite as rich and inky, inky dark black as maybe the Maybelline one or some of the other ones that I really love, but it, it's pretty close. And if you put on a good thick layer, it does get pretty nice and dark. Take what's left and just run it under the underneath the lashes kind of on the waterline there i usually only put my gel liner in about halfway just to give my eyes that nice kind of cat eye shape and keep that inner corner nice and open that might have been the fastest liner application i've ever ever done 
All right, and last up for the eyes, I'm gonna apply a couple of coats of my Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. Then I'll be back with you guys. We'll finish off with some blush and some lip color and my final thoughts and we will be done. All right, guys, so here is the finished eye look. Very, very happy with this one. I think it is so, so pretty. I love the sparkle. I love the richness in the outer corner, the color of this. It's so subtly purple. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I know I've said that four times, but let's finish off with the cheeks and the lips. So for the cheeks today, I'm going to use something from my Shop My Stash that I did last week. I will link it right here if you happened to miss it. But based on the color of my eyes, I've decided to go with the Milk Lip and Cheek Color in the shade Work. I'm just going to take that on this stippling brush and apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I feel like this will go really well with kind of the pinky purple tone of the eyes. By the way, this brush, this is the Moda, actually I'm not sure what it is. I think it came in a boxy charm. It's a Moda brush. I normally use my Duo Fiber Powder Brush from Luxie. From Luxie, that brush is actually upstairs. I was going to wash it and I just left it up sitting on my counter. Never did wash it, but that's okay. This brush actually worked pretty well. So now let's go into the lips. So I think for today, kind of to match the eyes, to match the cheeks, I'm gonna go with my ColourPop Oh Snap Lip Liner, and I think I'm also gonna go with the Juvia's Place Lipstick in the shade Chic. I feel like that will go really well. It's actually a really good match to the ColourPop Lip Liner. This is just very slightly darker. These two make the perfect pairing. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the lip liner Just like that, that's all I'm gonna do. I just like to put it right under the center. Sometimes I'll put a little bit up here. I don't always line the top of my lips because I have some lines in my lips there. And I find sometimes using a lip liner, I get a lot of feathering, which I don't really like. So but we'll try it today. But again, just kind of there at the top. And then let's take the lipstick. Again, this is from a Juvia's Place. Mm, I just love that color so much that is so so pretty let's add just a little bit of gloss and for that let's take the milani keep it full lip gloss i have it in the shade luminoso which is a nice pink with a subtle gold sheen this is a really great gloss and voila i think that is everything i love how this look turned out i am so incredibly impressed with this luster palette so far i'd love to know how many of you guys have actually picked this up or are interested in picking this up how many of you guys own the original divine rose palette from pat mcgrath and perhaps even better how many of you own both of them and how do they compare please let me know any of those thoughts down in the comments below let me know if you guys would like to see me come back and use some of the more brown or gold or peach shades inside here i am very excited to continue using this palette it is definitely one that i see becoming a favorite amongst the alter ego palettes which you guys might know i'm a big fan of my alter ego palettes and i say that not because they're one of the brands that send me stuff for free but because i genuinely think they do really great work with their formulas with their packaging just all around if you're into affordable dupe palettes they are definitely a brand worth looking into and this is a palette i think will likely become a quick favorite for me but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it was helpful for you let me know what you think of the palette let me know what you think of the final look thank you all so much for stopping by my channel for watching today i hope that you guys are doing well let me remind you one more time before you leave if you are not yet subscribed please be sure to do that. I would love to have you guys back here, but that is all I have for today. Thank you guys so much again. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I always think a winking thumbnail would be cute, and I can't wink cutely. No, it's not cute, Mandy. Just stop trying. The winking thumbnail is never going to be a thing for you.